Hey, it's me. It's noisy in here. I'm in the bathroom again because this is his feet and I don't want to wake her up because she's snoring as well. <laughs> right, so I'm here for my blog on the 11th of June. It's 11th of June. Uh, Sunday, today I did my podcast as always. So make sure you check out my podcast on the link below. You should put the link below. Probably can't hear what I'm saying because of this bloody noisy thing. Anyway, let's do my. Um, I should have stayed in the hallway. Now, so let's go do this blog. Get it over with. Okay, let's do a biology fact. Biology fact! There we go, I can find it. If you fully stretch your arms out, the fingertip to fingertip length is almost exactly your body height. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's do another. Uh, so look, let's go for a geography fact. Let me scroll down the page because uh, I'm not fully set. Right, come geography. Let me find a geography fact for you. Uh, check your map. Map. The Pacific entrance of the Panama Canal is farther east than the Atlantic entrance. Take your word for it. I can't say I've ever really considered the entrance to any kind of canal, really. <laughs> right then. Uh, philosophy quote of the day. By Linda Poindexter again. Sometimes things look a lot clearer when seen through tears. Lucky I'm not a philosopher, eh? Right, on this day in history. 11th of June, 1888, rebels defeat and depose James III of Scotland at the Battle of Salkeburn, making his son James King. Salkeburn, maybe? I don't know. Probably somewhere in Scotland with a name like that. In 1943, Nazi chief Heinrich Himmler, boo, asshole, orders the liquidation of Jewish ghettos in Poland, double asshole. In 1987, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher wins an historic third term, the first politician to do so in 160 years. She's a bit of an asshole as well, she was. <laughs> right then, deep philosophical question for you. I doubt you can hear me over this bloody fan. Uh, let's see, where am I? Where am I on this? Oh, come on, I've gone too far now. Uh, what is infinity? What is infinity? How can infinity exist when it's completely endless? Apparently in maths there's like 20 different types of infinity or even more than that. Like weird infinity. Infinity is weird, especially when it comes to maths. Maths is... Maths is so far over my head, it's like infinity over my head. It can't be because... I don't understand infinity, but it's up there somewhere. Above my head. Maths. Above my head that was. Right, and finally, let's have a poem, a random poem for you. This one is called A, Noise, a Noiseless Patient Spider. A noise, oh, so by Walt Whitman, uh, who lived from 1819 to 1892. Walt Whitman, that name's familiar, but I'm not going to bother because uh, it's noisy and I want to go to bed anyway. A noiseless patient spider, I marked where on a little promontory it stood isolated. Marked how to explore the vacant vast surrounding. It launched full filament, filament, filament out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O oh my soul, where you stand, surrounded, detached, in measureless oceans of space, ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking the spheres to reconnect them, till the bridge you need will be formed, till the ductile anchor hold. To the cost of a thread you fling, catch somewhere, oh my soul. That was it. Didn't read that brilliantly. Had a couple of cock ups. Not that Maz. I'm out of here. Make sure you listen to my high speed game and podcast, my heavy metal show. Should be in the link below. If I remember to put it in there. Bye.